you're about to tell me about the challenges that you faced in entrepreneurship mm. the challenges are never ending bro mm. uh, i think every time you grow you come with a new challenge yeah uh you know everyone wants a big office a big this big that yeah but you know the challenges are there regardless regardless bro. Uh, but i think the key challenge that faces all of us entrepreneurs and i speak on behalf of my peers mm. i speak on behalf of my partners mm -hmm. and you know other people that i i i circle within in this entrepreneurship journey mm. is the access to funding it is very critical bro can can i can i can i can i just jump in there you know i actually think that if you are a real entrepreneur funding is not a problem Mm. I honestly believe that if you are a, a, a if you're a true businessman you will not need funding. If you, uh, and I know what some some of the guys that are listening might have heard that from from uh from Vusi Vusi Temegoa he says that. But it's true. You know what I mean? It's true what you, you you can hustle bro. You can like look at me bro. I started with Bonfire and then I took that money and I put a camera and then from that camera I was doing photos and videos and then from that from that, I put another camera and then another camera. You know what I mean? If you get a job, bro, get a job, use that money and, and start your business. Yeah. You know. So I, I, there's so many ways of actually making money to fund your business. I think that access to funding is it, not a, a real problem if you're a true entrepreneur. But it's a, it's a huge barrier. I'll mm. tell you one thing: there's a difference between being an entrepreneur, yeah, and being in business. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, you you have your faults, yeah. And people don't really judge you because obviously you're not too well established. Mm. But when it comes to being well established, that that's where the problem comes in. Oh yeah. And that's where the critical component of access to funding. Oh. I'll give you an example. Let yeah, me say you've got this uh, setup studio setup here, mm. and then uh, SAPC offers you a contract and says, you know what, Tawanda, uh, we want you to to run our entrepreneurship uh, department. Mm. Uh, would like you to have a state of the art uh or they'll say we'll give you the contract mm. if you can prove to us that you have a state of the art uh, facility facility yeah what happens then exactly where do you hustle yeah where's the time to hustle sorry man what was that calling me yeah bro no you you're right now that you put it you put it in in that perspective would say when once you've established and 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 and, and you're growing and you're becoming bigger and bigger you're going to need more mm. money to actually grow and expand your, your, your business. Now, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and, our, and, and the saddest part is that our financial institutions, they are not pro-black. Mm. Uh, I've experienced it myself. Yeah. I've pumped a lot of money in F&P. Yeah. Uh, but you don't really get the same treatment as you would if, you know, yeah. one was a particular other race. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not about starting, starting your business. You don't need funding. I... 100% agree with you. Yeah. I start we started with no funding. We we put together I think it was 150 each. Mm. We registered the business. We bought t-shirts, we branded them. Yeah. We used to wear the t-shirts uh on a particular day. I think it was Wednesday. Mm. We walked together as a group <laughs> and people start asking that's how the brand and the the company was known. That's yeah. how we started getting our first client because someone would say What's this? Because, you know, we're all interested if a particular group of people are wearing the same thing. Yeah. So when people ask, then we will explain and then maybe a particular individual will say, I know someone who needs your service or I particularly need your service. Mm. So starting a business, I totally agree with you. No funding is needed. The will, you only need the will to actually start your business. Yeah. Find the things up in my life. So I hustle.